Human rights organization Amnesty International says it is halting its work in India due to reprisals from the government. The move comes after its bank accounts were sealed by authorities allegedly for violating rules on foreign funding. The organization has been investigated in the past as well over sources of its finances. It has been under fire recently for criticizing government policy in Kashmir and for alleging a police in the capital Delhi had committed human rights violations during riots that happened in February. Ashok Swain is a writer on Indian politics and society and a professor at the Uppsala University in Sweden. He joins me now on the line. Professor Swain, welcome. One of the world's most respected human rights organizations shutting its operations in the world's largest democracy. How concerned should we be? I think it is uh, for the world to be really concerned about, but this is nothing new. There have been attempts of uh, uh, stopping the voice or stopping the dissent uh, for a long time, particularly since Narendra Modi came to power in 2014. There have been various uh, international uh, organizations, so those who have been operating in India, they have gone through the trouble. And also a number of local uh, organizations, Indian organizations and Indian activism, um, they are also facing trouble if they are up getting resources from abroad. So I think this is not new, but this is what has happened now is uh, particularly when they have uh, stopped, the amnesty has been forced to stop all its operation. That is really scary. Uh, they have been on, uh, uh, in the government uh, uh, pressure at least for last two years, but this has gone to a uh, quite uh, quite far. Right, but it's not just under the uh, Narendra Modi government, is it? I mean, Amnesty's finances were questioned in the past in 2009 as well, when the Congress government was at the center. I suppose the question is, why is it funding and uh, issues to do with its finances repeatedly under the scanner? <laughs> So Amnesty uh, gets some support from outside, but also but there have been a number of Indian donors who have uh, provided funding. Uh, but I think the uh, the funding it's it's, it's always the, as you as you said in 2009 also Amnesty came under the scanner. Uh, but it has been uh, sometimes uh, there have been attempts before to stop these voices of dissent in India. But what I said is uh, what has happened now it has been a, a kind of a very organized way of uh, dis stopping the dissent, uh, whatever the sources it come from, and there have been more around 20,000 organizations. It's not only Amnesty. There are 20,000 plus NGOs are have been stopped receiving money from abroad. Uh, Amnesty has been uh, a kind of uh, more uh, to get this kind of uh, focused attention because of its international stature. And also, it's, it, it has been uh, brought out a number of issues, particularly in the last two months. Uh, though it brought out a report in August 5 on Kashmir, then I think August 28th, 28th on, on Delhi riots. And I think immediately after that, the government moved quite swiftly and stopped all whatever the uh, accounts they had. But before that, they had also... Uh, I, I, uh, targeted even some of the people from India, those who have contributed. There are 100,000 contributions, people, those who have contributed to India. Even some of the small uh, uh, contributors have been under the uh, government uh, tax authorities uh, attack. So this attack on Amnesty International, if you can call it that, does that harm India's image abroad? Uh, in India had whatever uh, the international leverage or international uh, opinion in favor of it because of its democratic and secular character. And I think that has been uh, under attack for a period of for some years now, as I mentioned, particularly since 2014. Uh, but I right. think it, it internationally, but different international media are already um, Putting it that this is this is what is happening in India, and I think uh, going against the amnesty, stopping it up, all of uh, halting all of its operations will be another uh, addition to this kind of India losing right. its democratic character fast. We'll leave it there for the time being. But thank you so much for joining us, Professor Ashok Swain.